All right, here we go. This eating with Sasquatch. I am the Sasquatch, and today we got f bomb from my friend Brad U Brad Yule at B Rads. Uh, Brad is a good friend of mine. Um, I, I honestly have yet to try this f bomb. Um, I actually got uh, I want to say it's his atomic in the refrigerator, and it is delicious. I love it. It's pretty darn hot too. No joke, really some some pretty uh, tangy sauce, to say the least. And this one's supposed to be hotter, considerably hotter. I think the one I have has three X's. This one has five, so he's telling me I might die. I might die. Probably not going to die. Could die. Probably not going to die. Um, okay, so let's get this off of here. This definitely looks like a thinner sauce, but there's definitely a lot of little parts and pieces in there. Has that uh, quality about it. You can kind of see it like leaping around in there. It, it, it's like, you can almost hear it. If there wasn't so many cars going by. It's a problem living on the highway. Um, yeah. Looks interesting. Let's crack it open and see what it smells like. Believe it or not, I actually smelled garlic there. That smells really hot. <laughs> that's weird. There's some other smell there. I want to. I want to say that's maybe onion. I smell like possibly a garlic and an onion. I've yet to look at the ingredients, so I do not know. Let's get to pour on it and see what this looks like. Huh. I mean, to me, this is a typical hot sauce uh, pour. It's not it's not too thin, not too thick. Uh, definitely has quite a few little bits and pieces in there. Oh, boy, this smells hot. This, <laughs> this smells really hot. It, it honestly smells like somebody took a fresh pepper and... Put a little dab of garlic and a little dab of onion on it. Wow. There's a smokiness, actually, too. Kind of picking up a smokiness. Interesting. Oh, boy. I really hope my stomach's ready for this. If not, I guess I'll be cramping in a little bit. So, <laughs> part of it. I chose this life. That's my fault. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, that's interesting. Very refreshing off the bat. Like seriously, that was a very refreshing bite. No heat yet. Great flavor. Heat's building. Nice sweetness to that. I need another, another hit of that, that's good. Love the texture. Man, there's got to be like tomatoes or something in there. It's got to be tomatoes. Ooh, now the heat's starting to hit me in the throat. I'd say we're about high three, low four maybe right now. Creeping into the four. Mmm. I love the sweetness. I, the, seriously, there's like a, just a nice sweetness. This would be fantastic on pizza. This is screaming pizza. I'm gonna look at the ingredients. Tomatoes, number one. I, I really, I thought I tasted the tomatoes there. Vinegar, garlic salt, garlic powder, cumin. I taste the cumin too. That actually, that's a nice play on there too. Carolina Reaper pepper uh, and powder. I think that's what it says. Maybe it says six powder. I can't, my glasses. Sometimes I need my glasses. Cayenne pepper, habanero pepper, onion powder. Okay, overall heat, it's about a four. Uh, it's, it's at that point where it's nice and pleasurable for me. Um, it's not quite, to because like a five would be where my nose starts running and whatnot. 
Um, it's at about a four in heat for me. So a nine chili head, this is going to be seven, eight, maybe, um, uh, maybe even a nine. I mean, it's, it's tangy. Um, a chili head. Yeah. I mean, maybe a five or a six for a normal chili head. If you're a crazy chili head like me, I mean, honestly, it's about a four. The flavor is spectacular. Really, the tomatoes come through nice. And it, it, it just, to me, it screams like Italian dish. Like, there's a few sauces that, like, I just feel like are really good with Italian. And I think this, the cumin really, um, I don't know. It just, to me, it just brings it into that level of where I kind of feel like it wants to be with the garlic and the onion i feel like it just wants to be italian i don't know maybe i'm wrong brad i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but i i really it feels like a good i'm gonna get another hit of this i actually really like it I, everything i've had from him is just really good i mean this is gonna be a sauce that will get used and it will be in my refrigerator not every sauce that i review gets to get get the trip to the refrigerator and get used so brad definitely makes the good stuff so Yeah, I love the little textures to it. I think I got a seed out of that one. I don't really care for the seed texture. <laughs> Some people really love seeds in them. I think the tomatoes really, um, the acidity from the tomatoes really, it works. It works well. There's no vinegar flavor. Let's check. Did he even say there's vinegar in here? I didn't, yep, vinegar's second ingredient. I, I honestly, I taste no vinegar. Like, I really don't. None. Four in heat, definitely a four. Firm on the four. Most sauces, most hot sauces, to me, when they're, when they're hot, only hit a two or a three anyway. So when you're getting into that four, five, six, and sometimes even seven in heat on sauces, when you're getting into that four, you're definitely moving into a sauce that's above anything. You're, you're not going to be able to find a hot, a sauce, a hot sauce in a, in a commercial regular store like Walmart. Well, maybe you could. I don't know. That would be hotter than this. I really don't feel like you could. That would be hotter than this. Um, this would maybe be the upper echelon of what you could find. Now, if you go to certain places like sometimes like Kroger or... Um, some, some specialty stores, specialty stores are going to have, you know, the crazy stuff. Wow. That's actually worked its way up into my sinuses a little bit. It's not making my nose run from that. It's just like, it kind of like tried to turn the corner and go up into my sinuses. Um, but yeah, really good. Brad, good job, dude. Seriously. This is good flavored sauce. I, uh, I can't wait to put this on some pizza. I am lactose intolerant, but I don't care. I eat pizza sometimes, <laughs> and this would go great on pizza. So thank you again, brother. I'll put links in the description for B-Rad's. Look at this awesome B-Rad shirt. It's got another one right over there. B-Rad, hot sauce, the heat you can eat. Right here, B-Rad. Why not B-Rad? <laughs> Love you, Brad. Uh, so seriously, guys. Uh, go check them out. Go down, hit the link. Uh, go down, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, and uh, get notified when I upload a video or go live. Uh, go down below that in the description. Check out B Rads. Go go look at some of their products. Brad Yule is making some good stuff. I mean, this is seriously, this is good hot sauce. Below that'll be some. Uh, there'll be some uh, links to go check out my uh, uh, eating with Sasquatch shirts, or I'm sorry, the Eat Like a Squatch shirts. And also some friends of the show. Go check them out. Tell them the Squatch sent you. Till next time, you know what to do. Eat like a Squatch.